What's going on everybody and welcome back to a new episode of GBA. In this video we're opening up what I believe is the February BAM Gamer Box. Uh, so for those of you that don't know what exactly is BAM Gamer Box, this is pretty much like their standard pop culture box except for you're getting video game related stuff. You can get retro video game stuff, modern video game stuff. Uh, this box costs right around that $35 to $40 price point. I would say you guys should go out and subscribe to this service, but unfortunately I think they're discontinuing this box along with some of the other ones they offer. Uh, probably for performance issues if I had to guess. Uh, but I've enjoyed this box. One of the things that sets BAM boxes in general, apart from most mystery boxes, is you get a celebrity autograph in every single one of these boxes. So if you collect autographs, this could be a service that you want to look for. Uh, for. Uh, they still will sell their original like pop culture boxes. They have a horror box, they have anime boxes, they have like a comic book box. So there's a lot of stuff out there. So if you're interested in Bambox, go ahead and check out the site, uh, bambox.com. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, guys, this might be the last Bam Gamer box. So let's go ahead and let's cut the tape and let's see what we got in the February Bam Gamer box. Um, I collect autographs, so this has been a good service to me. But it's definitely not one of my favorite boxes, so though it will be missed... Not as much as some of the other ones, I guess, if they were uh, to cease operations, I guess you could say. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this service or not. Uh, I might go back to the pop culture box, but I wasn't overly enamored by that box when I was getting it a while ago. So we shall see. Uh, this could be the last band box in general that I open. I'm not sure. Uh, so once we open this up, we always get this like black band paper on top of the stuff. So we'll throw that down to the side. We typically have some packing material as well. Throw that down. Uh, last few boxes, we've gotten t-shirts. I wish they would have been doing that all, all along. I love getting t-shirts in these boxes. Unfortunately, this one is white, which is not my favorite color of t-shirt. But I'll show you guys the design first. All right, so what do we got here? We basically have a collage of video game characters and kind of like a chibi anime almost style way uh, you got a wide variety of guys on there not going to name them all but I'm sure you guys can recognize a bunch of those you can pause it and take a look if you want unfortunately the shirt is white but otherwise I really like the design I like all the game characters so that's really really cool and awesome t-shirt to start the box out with like I said I wish they would have been doing t-shirts all along but I digress all right, so what's next here? We actually have this little bag of uh, arcade tokens. They've been given these for like the last like two or three months or so. Um, I actually like these. Uh, I think they kind of took the place of the cards, which I was, I, I like the um, trading cards, but I think these tokens are a little bit more unique. This bag was kind of hard to open. Usually they're like literally falling out in the box. Uh, last month there was like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles themed on them, and these ones are Pac-Man, so you've got a ghost right there. I really don't know if you guys are going to be able to make that out on camera, but looks like they're kind of like Pac-Man themed arcade tokens, so that's pretty cool. Just a little throw-in item they do every month. Alright, so next up we have our enamel pin, and I'll show you guys that first. I do collect enamel pins, so it's always cool to get these. Alright, so I really don't know who this is supposed to be. Is that a bunny rabbit? I'm not entirely sure. I must say a lot of the stuff in this box is kind of like artist interpretations, so sometimes it doesn't look exactly like the character it's supposed to be. But like I said, I do not recognize this character, but that is okay. Maybe one of you guys can tell me who it is down in the comments. Alright, so we might be down to the last two items, which are the two items I like the most. Which is our print and our autograph. So first up, we should have our print. This might be in the wrong orientation, but if it is, I will fix it. And it was. So we have a print. Uh, number 184 out of 1,000. Is this Uncharted? Kind of what it looks like to me. But nonetheless, a really cool print. One of these days I'll find something to do with all of these prints that I have from this box. 
And last up, we have our autograph, or what at least should be our autograph. And uh, I must say, all these autographs are certified through Beckett, so you know they're authentic. Once again, this could be in the wrong orientation, but I'll fix it if necessary. And it was. Uh, so I do not recognize this. And you can see the Beckett Certificate of Authenticity down here in the corner. I'm not really too familiar with what this is. But I do collect autographs, so it's awesome to get that. The autograph looks good. Um, the the uh, artwork is awesome, so that is really, really cool. Maybe I can find out who this is on the spoiler card. That is if we got one. Which I think we did along with some other cards. Let's just check here. Oh, guess what? I think we got a very, very small little sticker. Which is not typical. We usually don't get stuff like that in this box, but that is it. Nothing else for this BAM Gamer box, what might be the last BAM Gamer box. Uh, so the BAM featured celebrity known for Star Wars The Old Republic. I kind of had a feeling that's what it was, but I didn't want to say. Um, and some other stuff like Power Rangers. You have Johnny Young Bosch, voice actor. So there you go. That's kind of cool. Alright, so our um, February 2022, the autograph we already talked about, um, the art print is uncharted, like I thought. Enamel pin, um, Alley Cat Graphics Animal Crossing. I don't play Animal Crossing, so that's probably why I didn't, you know, notice that. Then the arcade tokens are Pac-Man, and the t-shirt is Andre Felipe 90s Games. So you guys can pause that if you want to. All right, so now that we've pulled everything out of the box, let's go ahead and let's do some pricing and recap and let's see what kind of value we got and compare that to what we paid out. With mystery boxes, you always wanna get a little bit of extra value. That's one of the main purposes of getting these things. Uh, so we'll start out with this amazing t-shirt. I absolutely love the art style. Not the biggest fan of white, but I can get over it. We'll give that shirt $15. It could probably be more because this is exclusive and it's a custom art piece, but we'll stick with $15. The arcade tokens, let's give them, I don't know, like, I, 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 three or four bucks. Let's go with four, so we're up to 19. Little sticker just for the fun of it, we'll give it a dollar, so we're at 20. Pen gets five, so we're at 25. Our print gets 10, so that takes us to 35. And the autograph gets 20, so that takes us to $55. Now, I might have overpriced some of this stuff, I might have underpriced some of this stuff, but according to my pricing, we got about $55 worth of value in this box. If we pay $35 to $40, it means we got fantastic value, so that definitely checks that box. The other way I grade these boxes is, do I like the stuff they sent us? You know, the arcade tokens have been a hit for me ever since they started sending them, as well as the t-shirt is amazing. Uh, the other stuff is a little bit hit or miss, I must admit, but I'm still comfortable with giving this box a B to a B plus grade. Um, let me know down in the comments what you guys thought about this box. What would you grade it? Do you feel like this stuff was worth about $35? I would love to have a little conversation with you guys about the BAM Gamer Box and just in general. But that's probably going to do it for the video. But first, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. If you know anybody who might like this kind of content, share the video around. I'm always looking to grow a little bit. But for now, probably going to go open up some more boxes, maybe play some video games, try to enjoy the rest of my evening. I hope you do too. So until next time, everyone, I'll see you later.